Hello, good afternoon everyone. Thank you for coming back to join me. Um, I don't know how many videos you'll put up with um, me doing on these rabbit and botanical journals. I'm going to make a few things together with you. Sorry, I've got glue everywhere. Um, but I'm going to carry on on my own as well and then come back and show you what I'm doing. Um, so in the last one, I showed you how I put my um, pages together. Let me just move you up slightly. Using the um, Flopsy, uh, Flopsy bunnies. What are they called? Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter, isn't it? So I've ended up with my two signatures. So this is going to be a two signature journal. I'm not sure yet if it's going to be a soft or a hard cover. I haven't even thought about covers for any of these yet. But I just thought I'd show you. I did change up the papers that I had in because I ended up with at least 20 um, in each, which is just it's too, it makes it too big and bulky and too many pages to try and fill with pockets and things. I'd be here till Christmas, I think. So I've slimmed them down. So I'll just show you what I've got. So we've got still got the coffee dyed paper. That's it. Flopsy bunnies. The tail of the flopsy bunnies. Um, Mr. McGregor's garden bits. The bunny papers. I've put an a window envelope in because I do like using them. And that's looking through to one of the flopsy. That's Mr. Mr. Bunny. I think it's Benjamin Bunny. That's Benjamin Bunny, isn't it? So Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter, I think that they had all the bunnies. Um, we've got um, Edith Holden paper, more coffee paper, kit page. And again, the kit pages are all from uh, Rachel Rox's creations. So that's the signature one. That's the centre of it. I'm going to put some washi tape down the middle of that because that is the centre of the signature. So I will put some washi tape in there. So that's signature one and signature two, same format. So I ended up putting, that was the odd page. That was the odd page that we had. So I've ended up putting the um, book, the front page, front piece on it to pair it up. So I'll put a pocket or a big pocket there or something to cover that bit up. Um, book page, sorry, I was trying to think then what I was going to put on there, uh, blackberries. The, and I will admit I made a boo boob when I put these two pages together. I put 18 on that side. I twisted the page round. So I've had to, that page is a bit shorter because I had to re rejoin it. But to be honest, once it's in, you don't see it. Um, and it's an easy mistake to make. <laughs> I usually make one boo boo. Um, so, yeah, so that follows the same format as the other ones. And again, it's got the um, envelope looking through to Mr. McGregor in his garden and sent a signature. So that's going to be the other rabbit journal. So I always use a paper clip to clip my journal together so I know what that's where I'm at. So I thought that I would bring you along. I'm going to make a, a waterfall pocket to go in each of these journals. Um, I've got a couple of the bits ready, the bases. So that's the base of the waterfall. And these I follow the tutorial from Inky Owl Studio. That's Jean at Inky Owl Studio. So she makes it look so easy. And I find it quite easy to do once you get your head around it. It's not a difficult one to do. So I'll show you. I think I have done this before. Um, but it always looks a bit different when you're doing it for a different journal, I think. So I've just got some um, thicker, it's not thick card, this is 120 card stock um, and I've photocopied on both sides and I'm going to cut it because this is going to be the width of my waterfall pocket at four and one eighth because that's roughly half of the piece of paper. So one sheet of A4 will do one waterfall, so that's one. Oh dear, I've just thrown my glue on the floor. It jumped out the way, didn't want to be used. And then again, I'm going to cut this one for the other one at four and one eighth. So it's going to depend on how wide you want your pocket. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that I get the best use out of my cardstock. Um, I want my... What do you call this? The thing where you score, your scoreboard. And I'm going to score it at two inches. 
that one there and fold it over. You can make this different ways. This, this way you get the four, one, two, three, four pockets or four flaps. So that one's going to be scored at two. And the next one is going to be scored at four. And then that gets folded as well. Move that out the way. Move those other two out the way. So this is the basis of the waterfall. That goes up in there like that. So you can see you've got one, two. So this one that you scored at four, I'm going to very carefully cut from that edge there two inches. So I'm going to line my ruler up there. Make sure it's as straight as I can. And I'm going to cut. I'll save that bit because I might need it. So that's going to be cut there. So that's going to go up in there. So now I've got one, two, three. And I know this journal isn't quite as tall as the others because it's, for some reason I had it on a different printer setting. So that's eight inches. So I want this to be no more than eight and I usually do it a little bit less, but for now I'm going to cut it at eight inches and then that should fit. Yeah, I might need to trim a bit off the bottom, but one, two, three, that one um, won't be a flip. You could do it as a complete flip, but I don't think I'm going to. I don't really know. I haven't got that far yet. So that one, I must remember, is for the smaller journal. OK, the way that you join them together is stitch across it. If you're going to glue it, you can, but you just need to very carefully put some glue. So I, along that crease, I've sewn. You can hand stitch it, just put a thread and tie it together. But I would machine stitch across that fold just to keep them all together. OK. So which was the shorter one? That's the shorter one. So I'm going to tuck that with that so I know that that's the one I'm doing for that one. Put that out of the way. So I'll just show you how I cover this one and then um, you're good to go and you can perhaps have a go at it yourselves. So this will be one of the botanical, except I can't use that paper, it's too short. We'll use... Oh, I need a different paper, don't I? Bear with me. I've thought about it. No, I'm not going to. I will um, put something at the bottom or cover. I'm going to add a flip. I think you'll see what I do in the next video, I think. But I'm going to add something like that so that I can put a tie on so it can tie shut. So that will cover the bottom of it. So if my papers don't actually cover exactly to the bottom, it isn't going to matter. OK. I'll fudge it. So I want... These are just over four inches, aren't they? Yeah. So the way that uh, Jean does it is the paper that you're covering it with. Just take that edge off there. Take the edge off of there and off the top as well. And the way that you do it is you, you have a piece of paper that's wider than you need. So I'm going to do that at four and a half because then I know it's wider than I need. Save that bit for something else. OK, and then all as you do, you need to make sure that you start with the same point. So the same side of the paper every time. I'm going to start there because I don't want to lose the owl. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue on here. And I'm using my glue stick for this. Oh, it looks like it's a new one. And then I can always go around afterwards if I've, there's any bits that I haven't stuck very well. And then every time you match the top corner of your paper with the top of that. I've not quite got it on, have I? Sorry, it's because I can't get my head over the 
match the corner and the edge as best as you can. And if it doesn't quite make, add... there we go. That's as good as I'm going to get it anyway. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and I'm going to cut that off. And that bit too. Like that, right. Somebody's at the door, just one moment. Okay, back. So, yeah, so I've cut it off. So I might need to go around because I lifted that when it's a little bit of glue just there. Oh, this is my old one. That's why it leapt off the table. There. Glued. You can always go around and check your corners when you've done. Um, and then for the next one, Because you're still lining this point I tend to put a little pencil mark just so I can see where I'm adding it and you're going to put that up to that pencil mark and again right to this edge okay so I'm going to put my glue along there using the glue stick it does make it sticky but if you leave it to dry it's fine lots of glue on there Looks like I've got a sticky glue page already, doesn't it? And then my pencil mark and corner. Match it up. And then that matches there. Let me just move that up slightly. There we go. And then... I'm a bit over generous with my glue stick, I think, today. Slice that one off there. And that bit there. So that's the two. A little pencil mark there. Fold that over. Glue stick there. Glue, glue of your choice, whatever you'd like to use. Corner again. Just make sure it's matching up. Place it down. And then cut it off. So you can see you can get into quite a rhythm with these. Don't lose the last piece. And I know that's going to be short because um, the kit pages, as I say, printed out different sizes. So I know it's not going to be spot on, but I'll show you what I'll do. Make it right. So they can you see? Hopefully you can see. We've got one, two, three. Do my little mark. As I say, I know this one's going to be short, but that's fine. Put my glue at the end. I'm hoping that I've got enough um, space on my phone to do another one of these with you so that you can just, you can see what I'm doing. And then again, same corner up to there. You can always check. There, I didn't decapitate him for long, did I? 
Hmm, that just fit perfectly, look. Okay, oopsie. So there we've got the waterfall. So we've got one, two, three. So you can see you've got all this space for writing on. And that's the front and the back. So there's lots and lots and lots of space. And then this bit down here, um, I need a journal, don't I? So how it would fit in the book, into the journal. Let's just use a page just to show you. I laid on the glue stick. So that would fit on a page like that. It's got the edge at the bottom. But what I want to do is I want to add a string on the back there that will come down here and round one of those little round things. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is add an extra piece on here. So if I was to fold that in half, like that, that would go up behind there. And then the circle that you put your string round would fit on there with a brad through it so that you can wrap your string around there. And then that would actually make a little pocket there as well if I was to glue it there, wouldn't it? If I glued it there with a little brad on, it would be a little pocket that you could put a tag in if you wanted to. So that might be an extra idea. The other thing that you could do um, is to have it as a flip down. But I might, so I'm going to think about that. I might do it actually so that it is a little pocket and maybe put some lace on it and then have it as a tuck. So that's one done and I'm going to leave that with it. I'll just leave that to dry. Okay, so that's one. Put my little peg on there again. Shall I do another one? Why not? Let's do a rabbit one. And again, this is the same. It's going to be, I mean, it could be that I cut that bottom bit off when it comes to fit it in the journal. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And this one, I've got this lovely rabbit here. Oh, gosh, everything's sticking, isn't it? I'm just checking that I've got enough um, data on my phone, space on my phone. I don't want to cut any of the rabbit off, do I? Let's just cut the top off. I like that edge. I'm going to keep that edge, so I am going to cut. Shall I, if I match that edge... I'm not going to cut the rabbit off. So this time I'm going to match this point to this corner because I want to keep that piece of lace. I think this is from AOZ. I think, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So same process. I hope this is making sense to you all. If, if it's not clear, then please do shout me and I'll, um, I'll run through it again. So it's one piece of card that I've cut in half. I've photocopied it both sides. If you've got card stock, um, what do you call it? Um, scrapbooking paper. You don't want it too thick, otherwise it's not going to... You know, it's going to be too thick in your journal, isn't it? So I'm matching that point this time. And I'm not going to lose the rabbit. So this will go in one of the rabbit journals. Cut that off there and cut that one there. Oopsie daisy. My little pencil mark so that I can see where to glue to on the next one. Dear, I've got blue everywhere with that. 
I must be careful now because I've got glue on the underneath of that. It wasn't very clever of me, was it? That's the top point I'm matching up. Move it up slightly. Perfect. Stick it. Oops. Over excessive gluing. I think sometimes the glue sticks seem really soft and I press too hard. And then other times they seem really firm and I don't press hard enough. So as I say, I'm going to keep working through these. I will come back and show you other things that I'm, that I'm doing. Um, but I think if I showed you every single thing that I was doing, I would be here till Christmas, wouldn't we? If there's anything in particular that I make that you do want me to show you, then please do shout because I'd be more than happy to do a video. Um, I'm getting more confident doing them. Um, and you lot are so kind. You're giving me such good feedback. I'm, I'm amazed at by it, to be honest. Who would have thought, little me, people would want to actually see what I'm doing. That top corner. Always, if you're going to do this, just make sure that you always match the same corner. Otherwise, it, it won't match up. You'll have a wonky bunny or a wonky, a wonky something. You don't want that. Cut that off. And you can always trim the edges, you know, when you've done it, if you're not, if it, you've missed a bit or you've not quite got it central. But I think it's more in, it's more important that you're matching the same corner every time so isn't that lovely so that you get the animal in the correct place my line my glue oops piece of paper and then i'll leave these oops to dry and then i've only got three more to do haven't i think about which images i want to use so I need three bunnies and two botanical, well, botanical stroke, stroke animal, birds, birds and bees. Move that up slightly. There we go. Perfect. And I don't, when I put it into the journal, I don't want it to fit exactly. Um, otherwise, it, they always do kind of overhang slightly then, don't they? Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, and that one's lost the bottom of it, look. So I don't need to do anything with that one. So they're the two that I've done. I might cut that one off. I as I say, I don't know yet. Um trying to think if I put some fabric at the top there and then hinged it over a page it could actually be a complete flip so that you still got the back to write on as well in which case I could cut that bottom off and I wouldn't need to put a, um, a circle with a grommet so that we can wrap the string round so I'm going to think about how I want to use those I find it difficult when I'm making something like this to think how I'd like how I would use it because I tend to make things as I go um, and that's why I'd started on the other journal on this one because I kind of get a feel for how I want it to be as I'm as I'm going I mean I really like that I love that the bun is peeping through I like that it's got something interactive on the first page I like that it's got that little pocket there and the little bun is on there and I'm already thinking I'm going to put an envelope flip in the back or flip up. I'm not sure which way that's going to go yet. And this paper, this blue paper of Rachel's is fabulous. 
and that's going to go in there and be a pocket that side and it'll be a pocket on that side with some lace on so I'm, I like to work through the journal as I go if that makes sense to anybody um, so making ephemera for me is fine because then I can look at it and say yeah I'll, I'll use that I'll use that but to actually put it into the journal I like to make it as I'm going so that is probably the way that I'm going to go but we'll see we'll see how I go so I'm going to put these to dry and I'll do the other three as well and then when I come back on my next video I can show you where I'm at so I hope this has been useful if not please give me a shout but as I say if there's anything that you'd like to see me make please do let me know and I'll give it a try so take care everyone thank you bye